I recently built a straight edge, which allowed me to get away with making straight cuts without having a table saw. And unfortunately, there were some issues that I had with it, and that was because I actually glued all the pieces together. I'm going to be building a new one today actually using plywood, which is a lot more stable than MDF. So let me real quick show you how I built this thing. Now the plywood I'll be using for this is the Baltic Birch plywood. And the dimensions of my straight edge is going to be 30 inches by 30 inches. Now the black bar you see is going to be the straight fence that I registered my pieces up against. And in the future, I'll be making it adjustable just so I can cut miters with this straight edge as well. Now the circular saw will be riding on these aluminum rails. I'm cutting these aluminum rails to 36 inches. It's a little bit longer than I need, but just in case I make a mistake, I want to have a little bit of play with it. Now I'm just measuring out two and a half inches from the edge of the plywood, and this is gonna be the height of the circular saw straight edge. Now I'm laying down some painter's tape just so the face of the plywood doesn't split, and I have to cut out four pieces for the height of the walls, and then three pieces of 1.5 inches for my fence. And when I have all my pieces cut, I'm gonna be gluing them to the level and gluing them up at the exact same time. So I put some painter's tape in the middle just to make sure I don't glue both fences together. Now all I have to do is just spread out the glue, make sure it's evenly spread out on the plywood. And once I do that, I glue each piece together and then sandwich everything against the level, making sure it's nice and straight. And then with this, I did this also for my fence as well. Now I just have to wait till this dries up to continue my straight edge. I took out the hand sanding block just to level out the edges and get rid of all the excess glue that squeezed out. And now I'm actually going to screw in the sides of the walls. Now I have these hard oil clamps that I use to keep everything 90 degrees. And I'm clamping it down just to make sure everything stays put when I put in the screws. Now these screws actually said that I don't need to pre-drill. So I actually tried pre-drilling or not pre-drilling with these screws. But the wood started to split. So in the end I started to pre-drill everything just to make sure that the rest of it wouldn't split. The next step is actually attaching the aluminum rails to the sides of the wall. Now the walls are perfectly level, so putting on the rails is pretty easy. What I did is I took out a pencil and I was just marking roughly where the rails were going to sit against the wall, just so I knew where to screw in the holes, just to make sure that I got the right spot. So I actually used the drill bit just to drill the holes, and then after this drill bit, I had a countersinking bit to make sure that everything was flush, so that my circular saw wouldn't ride against the rails. And then, once that was all done, I can actually put these rails in, screwing it into the wall. And I did these on all four sides, and it was actually pretty tricky to get it to line up. Initially, my straight edge was lined up on one side, but I didn't screw one in all the way. So I had to keep redoing it back and forth, back and forth, until I got everything to line up perfectly. And just to be safe, I took measurements on the side to make sure that everything was level on each side. Then, once I had that all done, the circular straight edge was finally complete. Now there was one thing they wanted to test just before I finished this off. I wanted to put in the wall temporarily to see if I can get a straight cut out of all this. So I put a little carpenter square along my line. Then I made my cut along the fence I put in temporarily. And then I checked it up against my tri-square to see it was straight. And it was perfectly straight, so I was happy with this. So this is the updated straight edge. Uh, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I just have to decide exactly what's going on with the fence. I want to make it so I can have it uh, make miter cuts at 45 degrees. Right now I just set it up just to test it out to see if it can make straight cuts and as you can see it made the straight cut. So I will be doing uh, upgrades on this sled like I did um, for my last circular um, crosscut sled. And I will be finishing this uh, probably just with a polyurethane. And I'll post that on Instagram and probably as a short. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later.